the brightness. I'm almost looking like I'm in the clouds, y'all. Y'all see this? All praises to you, love. Gratitude to all my ancestors surrounding me. That is beautiful. Not only am I glowing, everything around me is glowing. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Look, y'all. Uh, if y'all divine beings, and y'all walking around like <clears throat> uh, a fear of y'all life scared to live and everything, y'all need to really get to talking to Elam and your and your angels and your ancestors around you. I'm telling y'all, nigga, I, this is how I am every day. I feel like a motherfucking thundercat, bitch, with my ancestors, with Elam and my ancestors around me. It's like a whole army. Y'all know what that shit feel like? Look, I'm finna show y'all again, look. I'm not, the sun is this away. Look, let me show you. There go the sun. Now watch, I'm finna turn away from the sun. Y'all feel what I'm saying? This is, this is Elam and the ancestors protecting me. Y'all gotta start paying attention what, to what's around y'all and stop being scared of shit you know and don't be no fool now if you get a warning not to do something hey like hey don't go over there right now something to happen then you know y'all y'all listen to that but i'm saying uh for the most part y'all can't be afraid of nothing and this is why i tell y'all to um to not uh, be afraid because we need strong members of the matriarch and strong chiefs on the land and chiefesses. You get what I'm saying? Who can't, who ain't, who ain't scared to go up against these motherfuckers? Because it is what it is. It's us against them. I'm talking about go against social media, all that shit. Don't be scared of none of that shit, man. Y'all hear me? Because I'm telling you right now, if you're scary, take your bitch ass to church and get the fuck away from the mate. Get far away from the matriarch, the star seeds, the HVB gang, the soul family, and the chiefs on the land as far as possible. Because we don't want to over here. You know what I'm talking about? Man, y'all don't. This is why I tell y'all, listen. This is why I tell y'all to connect with nature, connect with the universe. Connect with your ancestors before you get out your bed. Before you put your feet on the ground, you talk to them like like you talking to your best friend, or, or like you talking to um, uh, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, your wife, or your husband. See this right here. Well, let me show y'all something. See how the leaves. Go. But I still come out here and show the trees love. You have to show everything around you love. Listen, while I was at work last night, see them babies over there? Look, look at these ducks. While I was at work last night, it was one goose. I'm sorry, but that's a goose. I keep calling them ducks. It was one goose. He came directly to the door. Because he knew I was there. Even though that's not my shit. But I'm going to tell you how the universe worked. This one goose came up there and stood at the door. And waited on me to come out. Because he knew I had some fun. You get what I'm saying? All this is part of of what make you divine and what make the universe say, okay. Elam and the ancestors say, okay. That's a good soul right there. You know what I'm saying? 
And when you when y'all connect with the universe and y'all connect with nature, y'all don't y'all don't have to try because it's gonna be natural to you if you're a divine being. I'm not talking to no motherfuckers on here that this message ain't for. But I'm talking to the divine ones. Don't be afraid. Like I saw when it was snowing, I had seen two wolves. Two wolves walking through the hotel parking lot. I almost froze. They were so beautiful though. I almost froze. And I just looked at them. They looked at me. They went on about their business. I went on about mine. They didn't fuck with me or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all energy, uh, a lot of these animals are coming out. Just out in the open. Out in the open. Animals you probably ain't never seen in your life before. Because this is what I call the unveiling, the unmasking. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody, like I said, throw rocks and hide their hands or uh, try to hide shit no more. Try to be a wolf in sheep's clothing, act like they good and and they be some old whole ass nigga or whole ass bitch. It, it ain't, it's not happening no more. But yeah, y'all, uh, all praises to Elam, my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? I am just so grateful for everything that they do and that they have done for me and that they continue to do. Because, uh, man, y'all don't even know how beautiful it is to have that army around you. I'm not, fuck a U.S. army, fuck a gang, fuck a, fuck a hood, none of that shit. I got Elam and my ancestors around me. Nigga, try me. Your bitch ass gonna get fucked up. I done watched it happen in real time. And my best friend, uh, my best friend named Dirty, her real name Keisha, right? That motherfucker used to call me the devil because she used to always be like, bro, anytime somebody try to do something to you, something fucked up happened to them. She's like, you the devil, you know, jokingly. But on some real shit, she wasn't lying. I done, a nigga done shot at me six times. Now when I'm talking about dead in my window. Dead in my window. This was this was some years ago. Dead in my window. It was like a big chill was around me, like the shit was bouncing off. Just not bouncing off of me, but just away from me. You feel me? That's the power of Elam and your ancestors. Connect with them. They're your best friends. They're your lovers. They're everything you put into man and more. So all that energy. All right then, uh, Pepe, it's kind of loud. But uh, all that energy you put in the man, put it to Elam and the ancestors and see how like how your life changed. I say.